Brentford have offered Christian Eriksen a long-term contract and are now waiting for his reply. The Bees have been in talks with the Denmark international for several weeks about extending his successful spell in West London. Brentford's summer transfer plans analyzed. Transfer Center Live. Stats. What position should your team sign? Download the Sky Sports app. Ericsson made his return to football with them following cardiac arrest last year by signing a short-term deal from January until the end of the season. He is understood to feel settled in London again and comfortable at the club, where he is surrounded by fellow Danes including head coach Thomas Frank. However, Ericsson has said he wants to play in the Champions League again and has been intrigued by the comments of Tottenham boss Antonio Conte about potentially being welcomed back at the club. It is questionable whether Ericsson has yet returned to the level required to get into the Italian's first V and Spurs have already made a commitment to Rodrigo Bentancur, who fills the same position in Conte's system. Ericsson would undoubtedly be an asset to the squad but, at 30 years old and following his ordeal, he wants to play regular games, which Brentford can deliver for. Other clubs are interested but Brentford hope this and the solid routes he has put down in London will give them the edge in the race. Analysis. What position should Brentford sign? One of the stories of the season was Ericsson's return to professional football. And there was no looking back when he took to the field. Brentford picked up. Morowins, 7, in the 10 games he started then in the 28 games he did not start, 6, and their goal ratio doubled. Ericsson ranked 3rd in the division for chances created and passes into the final 3rd since his first start on March 5th. Whether he stays or leaves. Brentford need to find another player who can link defense and attack. Ericsson. It's been a tough year but I am so pleased to be back. Ericsson has reflected on his journey back to health almost a year on since suffering a cardiac arrest playing for Denmark against Finland at Euro 2020. Sayang is so pleased to be back. Denmark trained on Thursday ahead of opening their UEFA Nations League campaign against defending champions France in Paris. The 30-year-old midfielder has played two matches for his country since he joined Premier League side Brentford at the end of January, scoring in both against the Netherlands and Serbia while helping the Bees to strong a finish. I think the first miracle started when they saved me on the pitch, that is the first thought, he said. After, obviously there was a lot of communication. With the doctors getting checked at the hospital, and getting the all clear to be back playing football. The first thought was of course to be back to a normal life, to be a dad, to be a boyfriend, to be a family man, and then secondly the football came. Luckily the doctors didn't say or see anything that would prevent me from going back and being fully fit to play again. That has been a journey but like you said it's been a year, it's been tough but it's a nice year to be back and playing football again. It's something I wanted to do when I could, so I am pleased to be back. Follow the summer transfer window with Sky Sports. Who will be on the move this summer when the transfer window opens on June 10th and closes at 11 p.m. on September 1st? Keep up to date with all the latest transfer news and rumors in our dedicated Transfer Center blog on Sky Sports digital platforms. You can also catch up with the ins, outs and analysis on Sky Sports News.